Hi, this is Kenny from Inaday Development. Welcome to our video tutorial on NPV and IRR per year. NPV and IRR are the two main means of evaluating uneven cash flow deals. NPV stands for Net Present Value, and it essentially means the amount of money a payment stream is worth today, assuming a certain rate of return. IRR per year stands for Internal Rate of Return per Year, or the yield the payment stream represents in total. If you are unclear on how to enter uneven cash flows, check out our tutorial video covering the uneven cash flow interface, as it covers the basic mechanics of how to get your uneven cash flows set up. Okay, we'll set up the same payment stream that I used in that video. Let's open the Recent Calculations window, and double-click our saved uneven cash flows to reload it. I want to know what the internal rate of return this uneven cash flow series represents. I hit the IRR per year button and we see that the result is 13.04%. That's considerably better than my bank is giving me at the moment, I don't know about you. But how much would I be willing to pay for this payment stream? I hit the NPV button and cal the calculator asks what IRR per year we desire. I like to double check my answer and put the IRR per year back into the NPV calculation. If we put 13.04 in there and I hit calculate NPV, we get 10 cents, nearly zero. This is about what I'd expect given that the IRR per year for this series is 13.04% when rounded to two digits. If I were to use a more exact value and round to four digits instead, the IRR per year would be 13.0407%. And if I put that into my NPV calculation, I would get zero exactly. Check out our video on changing the number of displayed decimal digits to find out how to do this. So I want to buy this payment stream, and let's say that an 8% return is sufficient for me. I hit NPV, then type in 8 in the desired IRR per year field, and hit Calculate NPV. I see that I should be willing to pay $711.36 for this payment stream, and if I do that, I'll make 8% on my money. Keep in mind that this series includes an initial cash flow of $10,000 out, so my additional $711.36 would bring my total outlay for this payment stream to $10,711.36. Another way to see this is to set the initial cash flow of the series to zero and recalculate NPV. You can do the other side of this calculation by putting negative $10,711.36 into the initial cash flow amount slot, then hit IRR per year again. As a convenience, you can copy and paste the value displayed for NPV. I expect to see 8% or something very close to it, and I get 8%. Let's say I want to get 24% of my money. I put the zero into the cash flow, initial cash flow amount, then hit the NPV button. I enter 24 and hit calculate NPV. The NPV here is $8,677.63, which is less than the $10,000, which makes sense because paying $10,000 for these cash flows only got us a 13% return. To get a higher return, we need to invest a smaller amount. A common problem that users run into when calculating IRR per year is a no solution answer. The most common cause of this is a series of cash flows that are either all positive or all negative. Think about it this way. If you receive money, a positive cash flow, but you had to pay nothing for it, then it is not possible to calculate the return on your investment because you made no investment. Likewise, if you pay out money, a negative cash flow, and you never receive anything for it, it is not possible to calculate the return on your investment because you received nothing in return. Thanks for watching, and make sure you get your 10B2 Financial Calculator app from the App Store for iPhone, iPad, Android, and Mac OS. If you have any questions about this example, please feel free to email us at theteam at nadevelopment.com.